Checking out this 2023 Chevy Tahoe for Virgilina Fire, all the way from Virginia. Blueprint electrical system, sound off signal interior light bar. 6M powers in the grill. Headlight flasher on park kill. M powers in our fog light area. Because they go mutual aid into two different states, we've got two different call sign numbers for them. M powers under the mirror. Custom graphics package that we designed for them. We've got our M runner brackets with eight modules. Another little option, we did a uh, subdued American flag with a thin red line. In the back, eight mod spoiler, six mod pillar option. The FM line in the bow tie behind tinted plexi. M powers on the license plate area, reverse parking light flashing with the blueprint, and then M powers on the rear brake light. So with the blueprint system and the M powers and the control system, we're able to <clears throat> tie in all the lights to have synced up. So when you have a dual level arrow stick like this is, you can have your arrow stick synchronized. So when we spec this out, the M powers behind the tinted plexi were specced with amber and so was the upper spoiler light. So their arrow stick is now synchronized with that. And then when you cycle through it, it'll cycle back through that. So just one of the options through your programmability with Blueprint. So another option, they have the command mode. So in the back, because you can order the sound off lights in up to three colors in any configuration not affecting your lead time, you can add green to any color that you'd like. And with the programmability, you can add them in where you'd like. So in this instance, we added green and programmed it in there for the cruise mode. And you can see we've incorporated that into our aura pattern. And then when you come around the side, you'll see that our M runners actually are doing full green along with our under mirror lights. And then we have two modules additional in our interior light bar. So if that doesn't work for you, you have the flexibility to program it however you'd like and make it work for you as long as you spec the lights out the way you want. Up top, you have M powers on the rear side facing and side facing to give you warning lights when the hatch is up. And then you also have an additional button back here for your command lights so you can activate the command lights when the hatch is up instead of walking around the front. And then you can shut them off also back there. And then you have additional functions from the handheld controller along with the siren function. So this controller is built into the blueprint controller. They elected for one of our standard designed gear safe containment systems. So this is our GS1 model. So you can see it's got large open gear safe compartment with our filter up top. Custom cut radio faceplate. As we said, it's got the Blueprint handheld controller, mag mics, they have USB A and C outlets. And then below, ratcheting magnetic command board, large storage cubby, and then the back is completely open for any large incidental items. Taking a look at the front console area, they've got their dome white mounted up top custom HDP console. So this one's a little, slightly a little different, but it's still got a lot of the normal features. So you can see we've got a 12 volt USB with our pass through. You notice that there's a switch up here so that will shut off the rear radio if they're getting interference, if they leave the rear radio on, if, if it's on the same channel or forget to shut it off. So they have the ability to do that. They've got their radio cutouts, their armrests, their cell phone pocket holder. They've got uh, expansion for a future drop-in portable charger. And then what we did different for them was they still wanted a deep storage pocket. So instead of doing just a slot and having just a dead space here, we gave them a large storage pocket and customized it a little bit here for them so they still have that big pocket, but don't lose it to just to put a portable charger flushed into the console. So it gives them you know, the customizability and something that we can give them the flexibility to do when you're building such a nice vehicle like this one is. 
So with our drive response mode activated, you can see that our white flash is now activated. Our pattern has completely changed um, all throughout the car, um, just to give it a little bit more aggressive pattern. So that way, you know, it's a little bit more visible at, while you're responding. And then with the link module, if you were to pull up on scene, simulating pulling that up, when you shift into park, the lights automatically shift into the park pattern, shutting your white off and switching to a less aggressive pattern, making the vehicle less obnoxious in some instances. If you have any questions about this vehicle or one built better to suit your needs, don't forget, vehicles are in stock, ready to be built better to suit your needs. Please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.